The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting us. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. I remember spending entire summers on the banks, fishing with Nick. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. I just don't see the appeal. Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it.
I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here, not even me. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna. Look at this. What is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss?
I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Lost the signal. Some things never change. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something. Especially after... You know... After my dad. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest.
Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other, even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Okay, I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um, I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later. Yes. Same old town, same old bar. The more things change. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe. Has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. 
It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you, even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires, but that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Just really embracing those Hicks stereotypes, huh, Joel? Gentlemen. Get you good old boys another round. Mighty kind of you, Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to anger up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. It's That's what people do, right? Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. It isn't something I talk about, especially here. Understandable. Maybe some other time. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam.
There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce, but anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. I'll miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um... Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Your daughter thinks Nick's crash doesn't make sense. She's a little girl who lost her father. She's confused right now. Don't you go encouraging her, or worse, putting those thoughts in her head. I frankly thought you knew better. Do you think she has a point? I think you should stay away from her. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Happier times. Bug was so small back then. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Well, Dennis, I won the bet I had with myself that you'd be an asshole right off the bat. That was a safe bet. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Yeah, like you'd care. Uh, not too much. But suit yourself, if you want to be like that. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which...
tears but I suffer for your sake believe me dear that's true I wish that you were staying Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> Can't believe this whole thing's still working. It takes so long for you to darken my doorstep. I won't lie, it really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? A desire to open old wounds? The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. I wanted to help. I was trying to make things better. You always do. Try, at least. When my father lost his legs, 
nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. You and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He... He never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. Uh, that's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this... This was all nice. The funeral, the wake... Walter did a good job, but it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. Nick's death. Do you know if he had any enemies? Working on anything dangerous? Whew. Now this is a real can of worms. This is a wake. I know that. Do you? This isn't the time to be digging and pushing. Y you always do this. You always, I... I get it, I just, you, you're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna go home. I hate that his stuff is all over my house. Then drink and cry all night. You do what you need to do. See you around. Samuel, come, have a round with me. I need a drink or two, or three, and then I'll go. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. I didn't know you read Dickens, Ethan. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Oh, spirits? Oh, no, no, friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. No, by himself, with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. I don't know. I hadn't spoken to him in almost two years. I cut this whole town out of my life, and now it's like I'm a stranger. This place is in your blood. It's like an old glove. You have to give it time. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed. Few hearts with knowledge so informed. 
If there is another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns. That from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. How's the family taking it? Joan and Kathy seem shaken. Kathy has a lot to deal with, now more than ever. And who can prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. Put that down! Kathy, what's your underage child doing drinking? Do you have no control over her? Ethan can lose his license. I wasn't doing anything. Don't touch me. Joan. Leave me alone. Ugh. You guys are all so, so stupid. You do not talk to people that way. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so, so. That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. I'll send her a text. Make sure she's gonna be okay. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Hey, I didn't... I didn't ask for you to be here. To come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in. That's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises.
Oh, okay, okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. I black out or what? Oh, I can't. I can't think straight. I need some water on my face. Clear it up. God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Sam, be more careful. Breathe. Focus. Find the way to calm down. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Steady yourself.
Focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Samuel, focus. Focus on anything other than the fear. You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. If I run, I'll keep running. I need to face what happened. The answers. Hide. It's never happened. Going on. You're far away. Don't run. Just go. As fast as I can. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I can poke around without making waves. Mostly. It used to be my job. You're great at finding facts. Not quite so good at blending in. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. Ethan and his parents, and I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. I 
I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. I remember seeing this before. A long time ago. night. First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? They might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Ripped. Did this happen yesterday, or was it always like that? Ugh. Did I do this? Sorry, Nick. What knocked this clock off the pillar? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. D.G. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt.
Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? I was drinking on my own, and someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. You know... The man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who 
do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... Talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize, trust me. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? I blacked out last night. I needed to figure out what happened, so I came in the back. You drank too much. Yeah. So you broke into my bar? Yeah. After smashing it up last night? No, that's not what happened. Actually, what happened is- Sam. Get the hell out of here before I call the cops. Okay. That's fair. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? Ask around, see if anyone's seen Dennis today. Maybe see if anything jogs my memory. I've heard worse plans. Small. If Dennis came through Main Street, someone saw him. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. I'll be leaving as soon as I can. Probably. I don't like that probably. I can't tell you to move along, but I suggest it strongly. Trust me. I get it. 
You were only in one fight last night because I stopped most of the others. Sam, I like you, but you're a hornet's nest. That person you were talking to, who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Yo, get out the way. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, I got to hear all about it secondhand. Really not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. You really don't need to say things like that. But it's true. The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find, in some cases, time is the best medicine. My mom used to say that all the time. Now she only says it a lot. Sounds like a wise woman. Listen to her advice. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I'll stop bothering you. I need to get going anyways. Not a bother at all. 
It's always a pleasure. Do come see me again. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you? It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it doesn't help, can't hurt. I'm glad someone took over this old drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes, <laughs> always. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. But I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs, sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I suppose. I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> no luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis.
Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Bug? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic Tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? to be an entomologist. I'm gonna study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug, it's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this, no matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, if you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and... Well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time... Ah, uh, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. The three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? It's been, well, you know cruise control? I've been on cruise control. You might miss it once it's gone. Life rarely lets you coast for long. You look well. 
I've been better. Hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Hey, man. Thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh, right. You're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Yo. Sam? You old bridge jump eye you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? They might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no. I haven't seen him. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Being crippled takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but... I like to come out, see the decorations. Pay my respects to old iron here. But this town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. Bug, what are you doing out here? Hey, Muley. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See?
Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> I heard you asking about my dad last night. Well, I guess I wasn't very subtle, was I? No, you were not. <laughs> Did you find out anything about my dad? Not yet. Not really, at least. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. And just, when I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else, anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just. It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well that other stuff sounds okay though. Thanks for listening. I got grown up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So we're both busy. Sam, I didn't think you'd actually show up. I didn't think I would either. But hey, sometimes we surprise ourselves. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point, it's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah, sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on, tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I just want to apologize to him for what happened yesterday. Well, he's probably working at the Basswood Jungle. He's there most weekends. Thank you. I'll check that out. We, we're not gonna have coffee? Okay. Bye then.
locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Sorry, could you repeat that? <clears throat> clear enough? Maybe one more time. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. Been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who... Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Sam, when you focus, you can think through any problem. Think about that. Don't let it in. Keep 
going. You got this. Think about that. Don't let it in. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. Think about that. Don't let it in. Focus on me, Sam. Dennis is a distraction. Sam, you almost have it. his office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood sprayed on the desk from the injury, but I need more to go on. The chair is pretty far away from the desk, but I don't think it's important. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? something useful. Where did the bullet go? The blood got all over the wall here. The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. There's nothing useful in those... 
Sam, stop it. Come back to reality. But I... I... You didn't do anything. Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think. You're... you're right. I can see it. I have the complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around.
only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen. Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Nick, Anna, and me. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this, for old time's sake. If I had the code, I could get in here. Valid question. Still not sure. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. was a good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Nope. And with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. of snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. But what was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big.
what Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. It's possible Walter missed something. Could be worth checking his office. Something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. A photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. She used to be the office administrator ages ago. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. What secrets you got in here, Walter? Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him, and his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do.